All right, everyone. Welcome back to the NA Smite 3v3 Joust series, hosted by Smite Guru and sponsored by High Res Studios. I am Ignorant Sloth. I'll join with me again is Gore Miser here. We are in finals game two. We are picking, uh, I'm not sure who won the first game quite yet, Worth Gaming versus Sweet Dreams here for the first, or for the second game in the series. We'll find out who won that first one for you in just a minute. Worth Gaming and Sweet Dreams already through picks, or other two bands and into the pick stage. Guan Yu and Zhang Kui are going to be picked up for Sweet Dreams already. That is an interesting combo for a Joust situation. Yeah, unfortunately for us, spectator issues have been a little bit strong this week. We've uh, just missed out on a couple of games, but as uh, as we get to see Hobwob and Bach is picked up for Worth, Sweet Dreams, like you said, Guan Yu and Zhang Kui, which neither of those are anything you get to see too often. Guan Yu is definitely a very good pickup, though. His healing is just really, really strong right now. The ability to tank for him is definitely really good, and when it comes down to it, his ultimate giving that stun in this kind of area, like I said, in the one lane map, he's almost guaranteed to get somebody with it. There are going to be ways to get out of it, there are going to be ways to juke it, they can purify their ways out of it, but as it stands, it's going to be a really strong ultimate. That is for sure. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what Worth Gaming wants to pick up here for their last one. They did ban out Sobek. X-Ball and Chang'e, so not really want to deal with the Sobek Chang'e once, or, or X-Ball, which was a, that's a whole comp right there, so they banned out an entire comp, basically. Um, Sweet Dreams pick, banning out the Kali Odin, and ooh, they did wanted to go against the Wheelish they got rid of as well there. On here getting hovered here by Worth Gaming as Sweet Dreams picked up Ares. That is, uh, that's a really interesting comp. Ares, Zhang Kui, and Guan Yu. That is, <laughs> I've never seen anything quite like that before. On her getting hovered here by uh, Jesse. Jesse probably going to lock him in, but no, nope. he goes for the Medusa once again, just kind of messing with us. Uh, Medusa, Habwa, and Bacchus combination. That's an interesting one as well. I haven't seen anything quite. I mean, we've seen Habwa and Bacchus together, but not with that Medusa before, I don't think. Uh, interestingly enough, he, or, uh, Ho Yi was open, and no one wanted to go for him as well. I feel like that might actually have. Maybe it could have been an oversight, but I'm not entirely sure. I mean, we saw, I mean, we see two melee characters for Sweet Dreams here. One, you having to get into that range. And Ares, I mean, most of the time you're only going to see Ares use abilities, but if he does want to get any of those auto attacks down, he is going to have to run up to them. And as it stands, I mean, Zhang Kui really being the only range there. And honestly, it's a lot of sustain and tankiness, really, out of Sweet Dreams as opposed to Worth Gaming, where they have a little bit more burst and a little bit kind of more, I'm going to, you know, with Medusa, probably aim to get some crits or maybe just get a lot of auto attacks down to eat through, the, uh, like, with some penetration to eat through all the protections that have been picked up on Sweet Dreams. Looks like Worth Gaming did pick up game one there. So they are, this is uh, going to be 1-0 and oh for Worth Gaming going into the second game. If they win this one, that will be the game or that will be the whole series for them winning. But Sweet Dreams has an interesting comp here to maybe go against Worth Gaming and maybe pick up a, a win for them going into the third game. I guess we'll just have to see. We are going to take a short break as we hopefully get into this game if spectator decides to let us this time please spectator guys let us in this time we have just a little bit of time on the countdown there so we will be back soon enough this is the na smite 3 3 just series hosted by smite guru and sponsored by high res studios week three and we will be back in just a moment and welcome to game two of the finals here we did end up accidentally missing out on game one due to a spectator issue but as it is we do get to watch game two as we see worth gaming going up against sweet dreams here and i'm pretty excited worth gaming has shown that well they are in fact worth the time to watch they are some amazing players and obviously getting into the final sweet dreams here is definitely going to be a very interesting matchup Uh, and these are some pauses that are coming. These are some pauses that are coming out here. We do know that Ravi Gromp has some issues, and we uh, do see two pauses. I'm, I'm told by uh, production here that we do have two pauses coming out. So a little bit of internet issues on his side. Sorry about all the technical difficulties today, everyone. Uh, spectators being a butthead, and, and looks like internet is being a butthead as well for Ravi Gromp. So we're doing what we can to make sure we can bring this to you because it is. I mean, I love the set. This is a great game. Uh, worth gaming and sweet dreams here are, are two really good teams and. That last, the, the, you know, I'm watching them all today has been really entertaining, actually. So I really want to see the rest of this game. And I'm going to go ahead and fix my uh, game states while I have a chance since I'm waiting anyway. Now, one of the things we actually get to see, just like, since we're on the pause screen and I'm, we have time to talk, and it works really well, but Chompy, 
who we've seen, I mean, the only we only got to see him once today, but he was playing in ADC. He's the one who's on Ares. I kind of expected that to go on to Rabbi Gromp because he's been kind of the more uh, Guardian-based character. But as it stands, we're actually going to be seeing it on Champion. It does definitely look like he's going for a bit of that tanky build as both Bacchus and Ares picked up the Mark of the Vanguard to get that little bit of extra health and a nice little damage reduction from the passive, but not too, too much, really, just to kind of sustain themselves in the lane. And all in all, it looks like it's going to be... I mean, I'm just kind of anxious to see how this Guan Yu, Ares, Zhang Kui comp works. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this, so this is really interesting. It could be terrible. This might, this might be a really good game. Or there's something we that just haven't seen before that's going to come out, which very well possibly be. I mean, there's a reason they're picking these gods. I don't, especially after they lost the first one, like this would have been the first, like the first game they could have ran this comp, but if they lose this game, they're out. So they know that they they had to try something and they maybe just had this kind of ace in the hole and they are just trying to win this one because of it. So we'll have to see how it goes. I mean, all these gods are pretty strong together as we see Ares and Guan Yu. I mean, Guan Yu is, Great. I love Guan Yu. It looks like Rabbi Gromp is going to come back in here uh, now, but there still may be, and I think there's another pause coming in just a bit. We'll see. They haven't even unpaused quite yet, but um, Penlin, she, like, Zhang Kui is super tame. Like, there's there's two solo lane gods here, and then a Guardian. <laughs> so it's it's really, uh, it's there's a lot of sustain and a lot of just, like, a, not burst damage, but uh, short medium burst damage if that makes sense you know it, it comes out relatively quickly but it's not a, like a mage burst uh even though jean Kui is somewhat in that so it's it's interesting they have a lot of sustained damage over a good 30 seconds they can just really burn a team down while being pretty tanky as well uh and we're gonna need to see phoenix really bring on the damage and penetration to take these guys out because it's gonna be hard for him to be able to burn them down quickly even though he is Habwa that still they're going to have to be tanky enough to really kind of get around some of that. And with it, uh, you know, Medusa starting out with the trans. So she's going to be getting a pretty decent power spike from that when uh, she gets it online. And especially as the stacks come online, once she gets fully stacked, I do expect to see some more penetration oriented items. I do expect her to build like uh, Aussie coming out. I expect to see keen size come out, just things that will help eat through kind of the health, stacked team that is what sweet dreams has come up with because while it is you know Ares is definitely a guardian he's got guardian scaling so he's going to be getting tankier as the game goes along Guan Yu with the warrior settings does tend to have a more more leans towards the guardian scaling but he gets more health and I expect to see him build some tank items and Zhang Kui with his passive as he gets more uh, souls into his little uh, sack there he will have more you know, just generic tankiness, more uh, protections to come onto him. That'll just kind of keep him alive. So all the members of Sweet Dreams are really going to be kind of waiting it out and living too long. I think that Worth Gaming actually was able to pick that red buff up. I think Medusa got one last auto onto it, but one more, I think one or two more auto attacks to finish off Phoenix, but he turns around and kills him probably Gromp with a nice water spot to throw. Shell is possibly in the gates. A lot of that damage that John Quay was going to put out there. Family Chief has to run away. Worth Gaming just survived by, like, nothing. And that shell was well-timed. I love that they threw that out for them. That, that was a good time, uh, exactly. Uh, and that was Bacchus, whose shell goes away. Purification is still available on Phoenix and Cute there. But really just the teamwork coming out of Worth Gaming there. And the thing that kept the two members of Sweet Dreams, they kept Chompy and Pinlin Chief alive in that fight, was the fact that Pinlin Chief has a meditation. He popped it at the right time, although Phoenix is now going to be getting low. Ares chasing him down. A nice belly flop going to come through. Chompy getting really low, and he is going to fall to the hobwa. Pinlin Chief getting really low as well. Cute going to pick that up with one last auto around the corner. And now, instead of going for the blue buff like it looked like they were going to, they're going to go ahead and clear up the wave. Rabbi Grom not really able to do anything. Chompy has respawned, and now there's Pinlin Chief. So they're going to be making their way back towards the lane, but... I mean, now they're already sitting at 3-0, and it's almost a 2k gold lead. That is a huge lead for just a minute 30 in. That is not acceptable. Like, they, they, Sweet Dreams has a lot of work to do if they're going to be able to even uh, close this deficit gap, let alone get ahead right now. And Ares being this aggressive, kind of out on his own, is not the way to do it. John Quay is going to throw the card to the wall, and that Palo Assault is going to be doing quite a bit of damage here. Q is going to just use his ultimate and go for it while Crushing Wave does quite a bit of damage there as well. Three members of them are on Robbie Gromp, takes down Robbie Gromp there easily, while Penland Chief was kind of stuck around the corner on his own with a little 
to uh, do against that. And the GG emote is coming up <laughs> through Phoenix. There he is, uh, you know, a little bit cheeky, but he knows. I mean, they they have the confidence. Are there five and zero at two minutes in? I can't blame him for being a little bit a uh, little bit cocky there. Uh, one of the things we're actually going to see here is that Sweet Dreams are not quite made of these. They're sitting down 5-0. to oh. They're sitting, I mean, if they've managed to get the gold lead down a little bit, I say that, but then I look at the numbers, it's actually sitting at 3,000 now as uh, <laughs> Worth Gaming getting that wave up does go back and farm. is about 2,000 experience difference. And even even though it's game two and you see Sweet Dreams, they're like, all right, well, we lost the last game. So we want to try something. We want to try something that's worked for us, maybe. Like, I have no idea where this comp came from, but they, like, we're going to try something new, try to throw them off, try to win this next game. And as it stands, it's not working out for them as the tried and true method that Worth Gaming has got out of here has just shown its strength. And honestly, this tower wow. doesn't look like it'll stay alive long. Is <laughs> Jesse going to come through getting a nice intoxicate, hitting all three members, and actually picking up the kill on the Chompy? Penland Chief and Rattle Gromp not able to do anything except kind of watch as the tower is getting poked down gradually. Just sitting at like three minutes and almost 20 seconds here into this game, and there's already six kills in favor of Worth Gaming. They are just dominating this uh, Sweet Dreams right now, and unfortunately, Sweet Dreams has a conflict that does take a little while to get going. Ares is known for his early aggression, but Ares alone is not going to be able to do enough to these guys. Penland Chief. Uh, Jean Kui takes a little bit of time to do a lot of his damage. Again, nice chains through the wall. They're hitting two chains onto two members of Worth Gaming. The card is going to come out. Jean Kui is going to pop the ultimate, and the ultimate comes out of the area as well. The purification is up on both of them, but it's going to be enough damage to finish Cute as he gets picked off through that wall because they're kind of lazy back there. And honestly, with that, it does kind of help bring Sweet Dreams back into the game, especially now as Jesse is going to be the one who's getting caught out. Although he is still just now thinking enough to really make it through here. Not much going to be done on the way of getting his health down, but I mean, even that one kill, while they're still behind about 2,500 gold, that one kill helps. So, you know, it's going to give them a little bit more motivation. Hey guys, we're still in this. We still were able to pick up a kill. It's been a rough early game, but you know, maybe they're just like, let's wait, let's get tanky. And, you know, I say that, I look at it, I feel like the boys in Sweet Dreams are going to, they, they might end up surrendering if the game keeps going like this, but as it stands, they're going to kind of hold strong, although Chompy did earlier buy a purple pot for the beginning of the game so knowing that he lost that and just knowing that that kind of goes into the deficit of gold that they have it's kind of going against him here as now Pinlin Chief finds himself in a little bit of a bad position but cute looking to mainly get that blue buff yeah Pinlin Chief is going to go down to Phoenix there with little to no trouble unfortunately for him he's just not able to do quite enough yet Worth Gaming just invading as much as they can right now against Sweet Dreams, not letting them get a foothold at all, and then that's exactly how it's going to go for the rest of the game, because they are just, it's that far ahead, they're able to just keep going. Sweet Dreams trying their best to just sit under the tower, but <laughs> Jesse just keeps going as hard as he can, jumping under that tower, knocking them up, doing the most damage as possible. I mean, look at those charts, 3,500 XP difference now, and 3,200 gold difference. At five minutes in, that's going to be really difficult to come back from Sweet Dreams. Trying their best to get any farm, but Worth Game is just not letting them have it. As it stands, all the members of Worth going to back up. Chain's barely not going to connect with Cute there. It does allow him to go back. Cute already 30 stacks up on his Transcendence there. Four stacks on the Jean Kue with the Warlock Sash. But as it stands, Cute is getting pretty far ahead. Sitting 2-1 and 4, Hobble at 3-0 oh, and 4, and Bach is sitting at 2-0 oh, and 5. All members, except for Cute, having a 100% particip participation rate. And when it comes down to it, Cute only missed out on one kill, so it's not even like he's missing much. Right, yeah, that's for sure. Here comes the Ares ult again. He does not have, oh, he does have Purification available this time around, so he's going to use that, but Pendant Chief pops the ultimate as well. It's Cute is just trying to run for his life, but... He's going to get taken down by Robbie Gromp there. He's looking to be in a bad situation as the belch comes out. Jesse's going to finish him off in the meantime. And that is a one-for-one -one trade. Uh, not really. It's kind of in favor of Sweet Dreams as they, you know, every little kill for them is a huge victory as they need any kind of XP or gold they can get. Whereas Worth Gaming, those kills are becoming less and less... Uh, uh, less and less bountiful for them. You know, there's not as much XP and gold coming out for every kill we get on the lower level gods like that. But still, every kill is still more, it's more about the deficit that Sweet Dreams is not getting while they're dead like that. So, watching them poke down that tower, there's one thing I've learned, and it is that this Bacchus skin absolutely loves to sing. Every single <laughs> auto there has a just 
an opera voice being flown with it. The tower for <laughs> Sweet Dreams is not looking good here. It's maybe three or four hits from dead, sitting very, very low. And with that amount of poke, I mean, like, it's been seven minutes. There's ten kills already. So more than a kill a minute, not quite two kills a minute. But as it comes down, Penland Chief and the rest of Sweet Dreams are kind of looking to get some picks here. They really want to focus down Cute and Phoenix is now actually with Jesse gone out of here. Phoenix and Lucita are going to be relatively good targets. Penland Chief is actually going to fall to the Petrify and it does get low. Chompy running away but as it stands, Phoenix is Cute actually looking to continue the aggression. One Poison Dart going to miss. The next one going to connect. Get a little bit of extra damage down but as it looks, the tower is going to be the target here. Uh, Robbie Grump is trying to defend that tower but Crushing Wave is going to finish him and his horse and then one more water can is going to finish off Chompy as well there he just way too far ahead for Sweetie's to even try and contest that tower damage there Bacchus might just go and tank this but they elect to decide wait we're going to take this blue buff most likely go for that bull demon king the sweet dreams wants to try and attack it uh they are probably going to fall because of that as well I don't know what they're going to be able to do to defend against anything right now Worth Gaming decides not to go for it quite yet. They might be waiting for Cute to come back here and uh, Phoenix to go back as well. They, they they have time on their side. Like They're not too worried about uh, getting behind or doing, doing too much right now. It's just it's, they're just so far ahead. Like 6,000 XP and 5,000 gold. That that difference is... That's a, that's a late game difference, not a under 10 minutes. Aries ultimate come out. He's only gonna hit one person. It is gonna pull cute, and he's gonna be getting uh, pretty hard right now. Shell was popped though, so he is not gonna take near as much damage as he would have. Jesse gonna be just not caring about any damage he's taking. He's just standing right in the midst of three of them, belching and jumping all over them, doing as much uh, disruption as he can. As for Sweet Dreams, just really unable to do anything. They're popping as much as they can onto Worth, but Worth is just kind of standing around taking it all. And as it stands, and a little bit ago, we got to see kind of the feeling that Worth Gaming has right now. You can tell they're pretty happy with themselves, although Medusa actually going to get erased by Choppy there with a nice blink and chains combo. And now it looks like the rest of Worth is going to fall back. Hobwop might be getting his ultimate up soon here, though. We're going to see one he'd go up onto his horse, although it doesn't look like it's going to do quite what he wants. Crushing Wave actually not going to connect with anybody. And you can kind of see Phoenix is like, well, that didn't work out. He froze still and just kind of stood there acknowledging the fact that he was not going to get out of that scenario. <laughs> he still maybe could have if he juked a little bit harder. But yeah, most likely he was... He was probably dead there just wanted to accept it and was going to do as much damage as he could in the meantime i think uh jesse's bait now a little bit of change right here he's just kind of back in under tower just baiting them otherwise he's just kind of messing with them around right now is all throwing out the global emotes uh worth gaming definitely feels like they have this one in the bag and they are not really too worried about what sweet dreams has to offer against this they just kind of playing fast and loose although they should probably end it sooner than later as sweet dreams could potentially get a little more dangerous i think it's it's gonna be hard for sweet dreams to overcome not having a hunter whereas cute's gonna get really really strong towards the end of the game uh having that hunter on worth gaming side is really gonna be a huge benefit for them and I don't think Sweet Dream is going to have the auto attack damage to really do too much in the later game. Well, here we are sitting around. The buff camps all still being controlled by Worth Gaming. And while they have dropped a couple members, they really only dropped cute three times. They did lose uh, Phoenix's once, but all in all, they've really only lost one member for the most part, and they've kept control of the map. The Phoenix is getting low. We see Intoxicate come down. A lot of damage on the Finland Chief. Chompy going to get low. The ultimate is going to come down. No escape does go through, but nobody gets pulled thanks to Purification. Cute going to fall down to the Ghosts from Finland Chief, but now Crushing Wave going to turn around and get a lot of damage. Finland Chief going to be the one to fall soon. A nice shell going to be popped, and it might keep them alive a little bit longer. Finland Chief barely getting out of there. Jesse not quite wanting to die the Phoenix, but now Rabbi Gromp is the one who's slightly out of position as Phoenix's rotates back over. He has quite a bit of health, though. Phoenix is, he needs to be very careful not to get chunked down by that tall assault that should be up right about now. Uh, they are just going to elect to back off a little bit. So Worth Gaming doing what they can here. I, I wish I would see them go for that uh, the Bull Demon King and make some contention there as they could definitely take that pretty easily with Cute's help. And Sweet Dreams will not have, will not be able to go against that, and they could try and steal it as well. But then Worth Game is just going to turn around and fight for it. So I think having that Phoenix turned off will be a huge benefit for them, and they'll be able to dive a little bit harder than they've been doing, trying to dive, and then having Sweet Dreams run under that Phoenix, them not able to do anything about that.
And now, though, I will be turning my eyes. While wow, Phoenix is doing a lot of damage, and he did just pick up that Obsidian Shard. Q now has Aussie Keen Size and is looking to go into that Haste and Fatalis. A fully, tracks, a fully stacked Transcendence here. And, I mean, honestly, with the Beads and the Sanctuary Purification going to be up, both of those are going to assist Q to kind of not die the way that he's been dying. A lot of it has been from Ares damage, and if he can get the Sanctuary off and the Purification off in time to stop that from coming out onto him... He's going to be in a good set to just sit in the back line and deal as much damage as he possibly wants as he turns his side onto Pinland Chief. And already Pinland Chief's sitting at about 3-4 health. That's a lot of damage coming on to Pinland Chief. And now with the Bacchus jump on top of him, he is forced to let all his ghosts out and just run away. Just trying to get out, not even doing an attack. No escape is going to come out on all three members of the game. Q is going to finish Chompy right as they are pulled. And Bacchus is going deep for Jean Quay. He wants to finish that Pinland Chief off. Ultimate is going to finish off Penland Chief and Robbie Gromp there. Deicide in favor of Worth Gaming. This is going to be an easy Phoenix and might even be me. I feel like we see Phoenixes and <laughs> Jesse's there just kind of sitting around. They are going to aggress onto the Titan. The Titan's going to start taking a lot of damage. And as it comes down, it is falling below half health. It looks like this is going to be the game to Worth. And. I mean, you could see kind of the, the high spirits coming out just from their gameplay. Jesse jumped in and got the two kills at the end with his Intoxicate. And you saw Phoenixes who had just used his Crushing Wave kind of look around like, well, I guess that's done. And they just sat there while Cute did the Phoenix. And they could tell after even, you know, the first, what was it, seven kills that they got before they got a return kill. And ended up taking it uh, a long time for Sweet Dreams to even come through. But as we see it, Worth Gaming takes the victory. Yeah, doing quite a bit of damage there. Medusa sitting at 11,000, but Phoenix is the real star with 17k damage in just 13 minutes. Uh, he was doing a lot of damage way too quickly. And of course, Sweet Dreams had a pretty big health pool there for him to keep attacking. So he was just stacking up that attack, that player damage the entire day. Uh, 6,000. I mean, yeah, they all did. Sweet Dreams all consistently did good for or, or the same, I should say, on their side. All doing about the same player damage. All dying relatively about the same amount. I mean, they were together. They just, I just don't think that comp was the right call, honestly, especially for a game two like that. That was maybe a more game one comp. Try something and maybe get that easy win or a different win. But Worth had just a tried and true comp right there of Hubba, Bacchus, and uh, Medusa. They were just able to do too much, unfortunately. And for those that don't know, what this really does is solidify Worth Gaming standing as the number one seeded team. Going into week four, it is an invitational for the top eight teams of the last three weeks. And so more than likely, we are going to see both Sweet Dreams and Worth Gaming come back through. And from there, they will be battling themselves out to get down to the top four teams for the fifth week. And uh, the I'm pretty sure the prizing is actually escalated for the next couple weeks. So Worth Gaming kind of solidifying their spot, saying, hey, we're at the top. We get first seed when we come into these tournaments. And next week, I'm honestly looking to them to see them kind of come through it again. So this has been the NA Smite 3 3 Jazz series. The week three of it, there's two more weeks to go as well. Um, I am Ignorant Sloth, joined today by Gormizer. You can find us uh, in the chat. I'll pop the caster casters uh, prompt there for you guys if you want to follow us on Twitter. Oh, you just keep typing caster over and over because I'm awesome and can't talk and type at the same time. There it is. Finally got it. Um, I You can find me on Twitter at Ignorant Sloth. You can find Gormizer at Gormizer, not Gormizers. Um, so, and anyway, I guess we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for coming, guys. It was a pretty good turnout for all of you. And I know we had a lot of technical difficulties today. I apologize for that once again. Hopefully we'll get that a little bit more locked in for next week. Uh, and we'll see you all then.